Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today we have an update to this blog post that I read, and and I just made the update last uh, yesterday. Wait, let me check. No, this the update was written on Tuesday, actually. So I will grab the update. When you raise your vibration, your standards also rise higher and higher. When you rise higher above the demons, your standards also rise as you see through more of the bullshit, through more of the matrix. You see through loopholes, through the demonic thinking, through the lies, through the manipulation. I'm gonna, I forgot to actually write that. Example, you are not a whore. You refuse to be treated that way by the world, by strangers. You are treated like the star by your husband or wife and should be the only person who treats you like that, not the outside world. When you raise your vibration, your standards also rise higher and higher. You rise so high that the demons can not change you. It feels like no one can touch you as you r raise your standards beyond what anyone can do or feel. For the common folk, you are untouchable. For the 3D, no, for the 5D and beyond, you have their standards in place and can only be touched by those kindred spirits. The demons cannot touch you. The angels and the gods can. I know he thought I was a demon because I did not rise to his standards. What I saw after the dust settled and I began to feel my higher self again, what did I notice? The only thing I noticed that I did not do, which is demonic and 3D sheeple, I did not tell him my thoughts. At that moment, I did not tell him what was going on. Because of my mistake, he called me out to be a demon, even though when we first met and and the days since before he called me a demon, he called me an angel, a light being. That I was living the old laws that I had in my heart, those morals, how the gods think I had, I felt 
I was walking with them or among them. But since that day, he called me a demon because I failed to see my ever. I began to think I was a demon, that there was something wrong with me. However, what I came to realize is I was not the demon. I just failed to inform him of what was going on. I felt off that day. My energy was off. I was depressed. I did not want to talk to him that day. I wanted to be left alone so my thoughts could flow so I could know what I was why I was feeling that and to let it flow instead of what I ended up doing which was 3D thinking there was a flaw that I have to overcome which is not really demonic, but at the same time, it's, it's a human thing that I have to be rid of. I noticed I was having the high standards as the gods have. Their standards and mine are similar, if not the same. But since I failed to inform him what was going on, I failed to tell him what was actually going on. It was only right that he called me out on that. However, his anger got the better of him. He did not let me explain myself. If the timestamps are wrong, I cannot tell you if there was a gap of 10 minutes or not. I don't know. What I do know is it's been a week and what has happened. The voices are relentless. I continue to heal. Go back to him. Fix your mistake. Fix this. You know what will happen if you don't. Why go down that path? No when your fate is worse than death. Why go down that path? And that is my th my thoughts constantly for a week. Ever since I found that I failed to inform him what was going on, what was on my mind, that I was depressed, that I was out of it, I failed to inform him that do I fix my mistake or let him believe that I am a demon, that I am a sheep? I am beginning to, to see that I have to fix this. If I don't, this will not end. The thoughts, the, the voices in my head, the visions, uh, daydreams, they won't stop until I go back. I never experienced anything like this before. The only time um, I went back to my uh, ex-friend who was a demon, I knew he was a demon, but I didn't care. I continued to go back to him, even if 
I told myself I wouldn't. I ended up doing it. This overwhelming feeling that I had to go back. And this time, I don't have any overwhelming feelings. It's there's nothing telling me to go back except for these voices and these thoughts. It is a different when you feel like you have to do this. This time, it's voices and daydreams and knowing that I made a mistake, knowing that I need to fix it, but. A part of me is saying, "Don't. You don't want to fix this. You won't fix this. You are refusing to fix this." And I can't. For for some reason, I just I can't. I don't want. To go back, it hurts too much. Facebook was never good to me. I mean, why why go back to the place that you have nothing but bad memories? Even if you restart, chances are you're going to make the same mistake. Discord does better for me because I have kindred spirits in the group. Most of them are MIA. I admit that. The ones who have not talked in the Discord server, they they are just there to add numbers, and since they. Have not said a word to anything. I know they are not of the light. They are demons draining our energy. There's only a handful of people who are there for the right reasons. Facebook was never going to be like that. There are too many people that it's not good. Okay, it's not good. And I'm sitting here wondering why go back to Facebook just for this one person to fix your mistake? Why do it, knowing that you'll just be swept up into the the contest of get a thousand people. Get ten thousand likes or whatever, comments, interactions. It's just a bad vortex, and I am happier without Facebook. I do better on YouTube.、Uh, did Facebook help my YouTube channel, my website? No. All they wanted was just the the Facebook page that I kept sharing other quotes、uh, from. They did not care for my videos that I would share onto Facebook from my YouTube. It didn't add anything for my YouTube and my website. I know a lot of people don't use YouTube for comments. They don't sign in, but there's no excuse for for it. You didn't comment on anything. You just say, "Oh, I like the the photos you show, but I don't see you commenting, except for that one time." Or I had a few crazies 
uh, comment on the the channel, uh, the you, the Facebook page. Did it add anything to my cause as a light worker? Not really, no, because to be honest. Everything was sidetracked. Everything went sideways. Like, you're here to give knowledge, but at the same time, there's a deeper meaning to it. And I now know what that real mission is. Instead of just waking up people, planting the seeds, you were here to find those other people. Come in contact with them. Have a a group for them to always keep in contact with those people not just so blindly you're not here to help everyone you're here to help the light workers the light beings who are asleep or starting to awake. Instead, I kept getting people who wouldn't communicate with me, who liked the page but did nothing after. Same thing with the group, except for that one person who kept showing photos, but when I went away, the group fell apart. And I knew that was my curse on Facebook groups. Every time I make something, it doesn't go very well. My energy is too powerful. The demons cannot handle me. I continue to lose subs every now and then. Uh, but... The point is, I am here to help the sleeping light beings or the light workers who do come across me. But chances are, I'm the only real light worker who speaks about the Anunnaki, the gods, and telling you the real truth rather than. To just blindly say things, uh, so I have so many bad memories on Facebook that's just why, why go back for that one person? Why do it at all? But I know if I don't. The voices, the visions, the daydreams, everything will not stop until I do go back and to tell him what actually happened. But fear overpowers me. But I have to risk it. But I'm just not ready for that commitment just yet. But knowing that I have to make a new account, again, just to reboot. I will reboot the page as well, give it a better name. I can't do- well, I- I can do that on YouTube, however, I have one chance to do it. One chance to get the name right, and that's why I have not changed it, even though we are beyond Thelnema. We went beyond it, and I haven't changed the YouTube name because I only have one chance, and it has to be perfect. Knowing me, I constantly change my name all the time. Usernames. I went from Amarthist and added Mystical Lux Fae, Mystical Light Fairy, that is, Lux is light, 
Bay of Men's Ferry. But I could create another username down the road. You never know what I'm going to do, what I'm going to call myself next. And that's why I haven't changed the YouTube name or the brand. Technically, I did try, but I'll just rebrand again and again. Meaning, I have an and oh my god, brain. I have an identity crisis going on. Just trying to figure it all out, you know? Technically, that should have been two videos, but... Yeah, it is. I, I do whatever I do. Flowing, gotta flow. Oh, but yeah, that's just the, the current thoughts for this morning. The voices won't stop. It's been a week. I have to go back. I have to fix this. I will ease into Facebook again, create a new Facebook group, unless he already did his. I don't know, but I will create my own group again. A new page to match. Unless I can figure out how to change my Facebook page name every time I try, it's like maybe you only have one shot. Or you create a page name and that's it. Because every time I do try, it says ever. I don't know. So I will have to probably create a new uh, Facebook page to. Uh, for the new cause, what I'm actually doing. But yeah, that's just the thoughts for today. I don't know when I will make a, a new account, but, um, but yeah. Until we meet again.